I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Hello collectors and welcome to the Discount Action Figure Dude. I am your host Christopher and as always we know you have a lot of options when it comes to your action figure information. The fact that you've chosen to spend if only a few seconds with us means the world to us. Today is a, is a, is a great day at Discount Action Figure Central as it's Friday which means it's the one day a week that I can indulge. It's the 1st of December of the year 2023 in case you're curious which means it's the holidays which means we're going to indulge in some eggnog. Now here's the thing about me drinking eggnog. I happen to be lactose but that's okay because Little known scientific fact, adding alcohol to milk products neutralizes the lactose in milk products. I bet you didn't know that. It's science, motherfuckers. It's science. Also, as far as the figure we're looking at today, as you can see, we are surrounded by our, our hall of armor that we've used before. I also thought, why do I have to put Iron Man in Halls of Armor? I can put anybody in Halls of Armor. I can put Mr. T and Superman, you see his green, because kryptonite and, and whatnot. I can put anybody in the Halls of Armor. But that doesn't stop the fact that we are looking at an Iron Man figure. And even that is important. Because normally, collectors... The figures that we take a look at on this channel, they've been sitting around for weeks, months, years even. Today, we're looking at something that we got like 20 minutes ago. I mean, the mailman just dropped this shit off just a little while ago. And that would be this Iron Man Infinity Saga. Mark, okay, we got a problem with the Mark. Mark... <laughs> 29, I think. That says 39. I think XXIX is 29. I'm about to look it up right now to see because I don't want to. I don't want to sound stupid. You know, discrepancy. You know, just a little issue. XXIX, as I thought, was Roman numeral 29. I've seen enough Super Bowls that I know what a 29 looks like. But here it says 39. I don't know if that. It's a typo. I am I am not sure. From ZD Toys, which I am a big fan of. I'd almost say I was a shill for ZD Toys, but not really because they aren't giving me anything. They don't even know that I exist. But I love me some ZD Toys from Iron Man 3. And this is an outfit I don't remember from Iron Man 3. Admittedly, it's been a while since I've seen Iron Man 3. And just in case anyone wants to make sure that it's legit, there goes your Disney spot varnished hologram logo. Side of the box. With some more stuff on there. Side of the box. Back of the box showing you uh, uh, things. And back to the box itself. Uh, yeah. How exciting is this? Looking at a brand new product. Obviously, since it's brand new and it's like came out, I don't know, whenever it came out. I didn't get this at a discount. I paid, I think, $29 for it or $32. I'm not sure. But it, it costs more than what I would usually pay for an action figure. But still, all that being said, let's cut this bitch open on camera because always opening ZD toys is oh, I'm sorry Iron Man you be alright though is almost an experience all onto itself let's get off this cellophane real quick and now that we've broken through the cellophane we have a uh 
magnetized box and we can open this to see our plastic encased space boost Iron Man Mark 29.39 in there all safe in his plastic coffin and I think under the box as per usual with ZD Toys we have all of the uh, accessories that my man comes with but let's say we set him free and here goes our space boost Iron Man out of his box looking very good I wish you could have smelled him too because he smelled like a brand new car it also smells great but let's say we take a closer look at Iron Man Mark 29 Space Boost Well, this is a pretty solidly engineered action figure, my friends. Though it does have some limitations it's working with. Let's start off with the good stuff, with the first of that being the fact it just looks fantastic. This looks, this looks great. This is a very pretty toy. Plus, if you put it on like one of your Iron Man shelves or whatnot, the color palette is such that there's going to be nothing else that looks like this. It just looks really, really good. The black with the white and the gold accents looks very good. The articulation is pretty standard for ZD Toys as far as, you know, the leg movement. It has drop hips to help with the leg movement. Oops, I didn't break anything. That didn't sound good. <laughs> but no, I guess it's okay. <laughs> has these drop hips. You know, to go with the, what I assume a double jointed needs, but it can only go back so far. Same with the arms. The um, hip movement is limited, though it also has raised and drop uh, upper torso movement. But it can only turn so much. And the head movement, too, is limited because of what I assume are these rocket boosters or whatever those things are by uh, the neck also probably not too cool is it has these um, these joints which the space in this joints which I don't think go in which I guess kinda def kinda defeats the illusion of maybe a man in a in a armored suit and but then of course this could be a robot you know Tony Stark did make a lot of robots so that could be neither here nor there and the arm movement is uh, very good and the shoulders flaps go up to assist in the arm movement so Tony can strike a complete and total T pose or the mark 39 not 29 can strike a T pose if he has to very very nice very impressive very I dare I say beautiful action figure ZD Toys makes other action figures some of which we'll review they have some spider-man they have some weird game reverse stuff but their bread and butter is Iron Man you know for the price point they're making the best Iron Man on the market if you were to ask me then nobody is asking me but I telling you anyway one of the things that's a little misleading and believe me it doesn't say so the, mis the misleading is all on my part but you know one would buy this and think that there was a light up feature lit up eyes lit up our reactor but uh, if there is I don't know where it's located mainly because this doesn't have a light up feature 
you know, got a little spoiled with my ZD toys and the last couple that I had with light up features. Believe me, I was searching for ports and switches to try to turn this sucker on, but they do not exist. He also comes with this uh, alternate faceplate, which is just like the faceplate he's wearing, but uh, with no see-through in the eyes. And uh, I'm not quite sure what purpose it serves, but we're going to pop it on anyway. <laughs> just you know, because it it's there and it goes mark 39 with his alternate faceplate again i think maybe this you know cements the this is a robot effect otherwise i'm not quite sure uh what purpose it serves so what kind of value do we assign the old mark 39 over here not 29 not 29, 39, not 29. Uh, we assigned it no value <laughs> because we paid full price for it. That doesn't mean we don't love it and we're happy to have it and it has value for us. But you know, this is the Discount Action Figure Dude channel and you know, we didn't get this on a discount. Still, this is a highly recommended action figure for anybody who loves Iron Man figures. It's a work of art. It's, it is truly a beauty.